So anti-muscarinic agents, it is a class of the anticholinergic drugs. Anti-muscarinic, and to remember the anti-muscarinic agents, we have to remember these three T's. Tropine, tarodine, and tropium. Uh, in this, in, and then there will be having four other another three T's here. So actually, the six T's. Uh, a for at a atropine, benztropine, atropine and benztropine, tarodine, tall tarodine, fasotarodine, tropium, ipratropium, tiotropium, and in fenacin, solifenacin and darifenacin. Then trihexphenidyl, tropicamide, trospium chloride. So actually, this becomes eleven drugs: atropine, benztropine. Tolterodine, Fasoterodine, Ipratropium, Tiotropium, Solifenacin, Darifenacin. Then Trihexphenidyl, Tropicamide, and Trospium Chloride. In addition, we have three other drugs which we can say cause, and uh, that, that this, this, this cause is actually C for Cyclopentolate, Cyclopentolate, Oxybutynin, and Scopolamine. These were the anti muscarinic agents. Now we move towards uh, ganglionic blockers. So ganglionic blockers were just two drugs, and these two drugs are mecamylamine and nicotine. And then we have neuromuscular blockers, and neuromuscular blockers are further like there are two major categories of the neuromuscular blockers: curium, curium, and the curium. Let's see that curium, and we have curonium. In the curium, we have atta curium, and we have cis atra, cis atra curium. And in the curonium, we have pancuronium, rocuronium, and vicuronium. And finally, the succinyl choline. So these were the anticholinergic drugs.